in our last video I had created the views and models and controllers for creating users and you can see here that Kim Clement was created Kurt Clement I hadn't encrypted his password but because it was the same password I could just copy and paste and now both Kim Clement and Kurt Clement have logins here so that's uh, a quick way I uh, without knowing the password I could enter it in copy it and paste it over here and that's the way that passwords are uh, are broken or can be broken anyways uh, this is not a, a lecture on encryption so here we have our main page this is the home page and we're going to change this view up we also have our administration page and they look the same but they have completely different views and to show you that what I'm going to do is change the footer here in in just the administration view now when I come over here to my administration module and you go under views I don't have uh, the layouts and the main view so we go over here and I'm gonna just copy my layouts here copy paste and now I got these layouts and these can be different now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say that on my main I'm gonna take out that powered by ye that's all I'm gonna take out and of course eventually this will be completely different now this is the administration module and you can see that the powered by ye was not taken out so this is obviously still using the main because I deleted it in the module main powered by ye so let's see where that is coming from well it extends controller you go to controller and that's where they set the layout here it's also where the menu and breadcrumbs get set but we'll just copy that we'll paste it here and we're saying rather than going to the root of the whole application just go to the root of our current module now it's going to go to column one so I go to column one and rather than going to the root of main of the whole application to main we'll just go to the root of our module save both those changes and voila it has a different view and a different footer just to be consistent here and I'll close this and this but just to be consistent I'll go ahead and change the column two to also do that so now that my administration modules have completely different views from the main module here is here is the administration view and here is the main view. Now the other thing I want to do is I want to say if uh, I have the right access um, when I log in for example as Kurt Clement I want to create another menu item here that will take me to the administration page so this is where we're going to do that. So here we are at main.php because that is what is rendering this part right here and I'm at the root of my application not in the module okay and here I um, am loading some style sheets some CSS and doing some other things but here's where I set up the menu and that's what I want to change so I go to this one and I say okay I've got a I've got another menu item admin okay and where you're gonna go is to administration that works and now this is only visible if my current user I go to the ye app and I say my current user check access which is part of the rules based authentication control uh, check access and say if you have managed products well, well what does that mean remember that we have our roles so we have a super user who is has all the rights a product manager has who has all the rights for managing products which can add in product and add an image now let's go back to our uh, local database here and what do we have for auth items we only have two things well I'm sorry we have all of those things in there we added all of those so these are all of our items that you can do and so when I'm checking here I'm saying do you have the rights to manage products okay now if you have the rights to manage products that means you're either going to be a product manager or a super user I'll show you how that works and it's a recursive kind of deal so just a simple check access if you have the right to manage products then I'm gonna put up this 
admin here. So we'll save that. Go here. And we see now we have an admin which will take us to the administration page. I can go home, administration page. It's a nice, quick way to get there. Now let's log out and log in as Kim. Okay, so I logged in as Kim Clement, and she also is an admin. Why is that? Well, it says here that user number two, I'm in my auth assignment, is a product manager. Well, let's change this here. Let's say that she's not a product manager, and let's make her just a regular user. Okay, so now number two is just a regular user, and I keep this PowerPoint around to say, uh, user okay doesn't have right to manage products well what will happen then well here because I don't restrict administration she can go to administration but if I log out and then log in again as Kim you can see that I'm logged in as Kim I can log out but there is no admin password here because I didn't pass that test and what you saw, hopefully you saw subtly, is that um, the manager, uh, the product manager could manage products and the super user could manage products, even though there is no direct assignment here between super user and managed products. By b having an assignment with the product manager, they inherit all of the rights. And through recursive programming, it makes that work. So a real simple video. Uh, just wanted to add those few things, be able to get into my administration module and back to my regular module, back and forth uh, fairly quickly. Um, next, I'm going to change the menu on this administration module. I'm going to be able to do some products and some um, add some products and do other things, and that's what we do here in the administration module.